What's up everyone, welcome to more God of War. On the last episode we got to the witch's lair area, opened a bunch of chests, and now we're about to climb up out of this well and see if she can reanimate this head we found two episodes ago. Uh. Turn back AC. Yes, the gods are welcome here. Turn back Acer. I hope those are magic runes. Words won't keep the Acer away. Uh, here we go. <gasps> there he is. I hope he remembers us. The turtle. <laughs> I don't know what that's gonna do. Oh, I can use it. Okay. Let's stick this over here. Okay, I'm gonna set it down for right now and look this way real quick. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. So cool we can talk to animals. Boy. Another marker. Uh, hail Frigg, generous Frigg, who gave the world her brightest light, young Boulder, a gleaming god, pride of the Aesir, Odin's son and heir to Asgard. Long may she protect him, long may he protect us. Hail Boulder the Golden. Hail Frigg, beloved of all. Hail Odin, all father. Seems like nobody who counted on Aesir is still around. <laughs> yeah, seems like it to me as well. Alright, let's go, boy. God, this forest is freaking gorgeous. Hi, little. Oh, very big. Enemies here? Uh, try these. Super cool. Okay. Did you already read all this stuff for me? What does it say? Yes, sir. Say their neat things upon all who trespass. But we're invited here, right? <laughs> I saw another one right here. No, read. Can you read it? Sir. Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hang. Okay. She doesn't like Odin very much. Time to go speak to the witch. Father, she's she even is here. here. to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. 
You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Uh, oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the witch in the woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once yes, but no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? I don't know why he's so mad. We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Or have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, head, I will <laughs> ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. I wonder what'll happen if Kratos farts. He's like right there. Kratos is just walking and it's like Pfft. and he's like oh go to the serpent's horn wonder if I get closer with this serpent's horn okay This is a clever way of loading an area. No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh... 
a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Speak to the serpent. There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally, that horn. What you talking about? A horn? Oh, I know what's talking about. I remember. This right here. Okay. I put my lips to the horn. I don't know how he blows with no lungs. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I've still got it, lads. You remembers me. Why you? direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment. Now that, if you thought I said you were friends of Odin, you'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Funny wouldn't let us look back this way. Cause he didn't want us to see the weirdness of the serpent stretching that far. <laughs> Lore added. The world serpent spans all the waters of Midgard, maybe the only one big enough to beat Thor. I can't believe we met him. Now that I've heard Mimir talk to Jornander in this ancient tongue, I wonder if I could figure out how to do it. That'd be cool. Uh, so we need to get on a boat, right? 
Maybe this boat. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. This away? What is that? What is that? The mirror. You never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won. But the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <clears throat> Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. Oof. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. Oh, it's gonna disappear. Um... There's another one of those ghosts. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Uh, okay, let's go do this real quick. Might as well, right? I bet I have to fight for them, though. Lemire, you were in the middle of a story before. So, how did this advisor of Odin's try to end the long war? He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? And we'll pick this up later. I need to go down there. But I don't know if I can get down there from up here. Nope. So maybe from there. Uh, all right, let's go back down. I kind of figured. Kind of figured. Go around this corner. And right here. So we don't know how to get into that kind of stuff yet, but it's soon enough. These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. 
Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are here. all liars. This one is different. I know Oh, shoo, Fafnir. I always wonder what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? Like, Fafnir's storeroom Fafnir? The very one. Whoa. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was. <laughs> now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads. Yeah, I'm not messing with him yet. I'm gonna track down these bones. And I'm not messing with that blue thing, because it's gonna be a really OP guy that comes out of there like last time that killed me in a second. see mom again of course I she is gone Atreus you must accept okay, this this one's closer I so do, we'll do this one first to see her again what is Just that one more time why do you believe him you do not know him or who he was all of this is sinister he wants to see hey, someone he loved again what was that I I understand how that feels I don't think there's anything sinister about it Hope is blinding your instincts, boy. Okay, you know we'll dock here. Are, are you okay? No, son. My goods are underwater. The men are drowned, and yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. Hellwalkers. They plague these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. But these abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. Okay. scattered all three of my ships across the lake. I'm not gonna track it right now, I but I will do it later. Feel bad for killing wolves, but they would have killed me, so uh, let's look around. We're close to these bones, I'm sure. It's, oh, I need to get that. Head up here. Breakable? No. The bones are down there now, aren't they? Oh, Goldie's nope, I bones. got the bones. What will you say to her? To Goldie? Your mother. What have you left unsaid? I... I guess... I just want to know if she's okay. She is dead, boy. I know that! I... You don't understand. Neither do you. Neither do you. Okay, so... We can head down... That... I kind of want to get what we drop down here, though. And then come back up. If it's even still there. I 
I know it's just money, but I want it. Okay, now let's head up and go read that tomb. This may be a slightly longer episode because I'd like to finish out this side quest before we end. Go down here. Hey, another brazier. I suppose you wish to light it. Can I? I don't like those things. Oh, shoot. I put my axe up. I'm just gonna throw it. And then fight you. Got a fist fight him, I guess. Seen one of those before. They look like they walked straight out of hell. Okay, so now I have to What's do. That? Now just this one. Dang it! Ah, they all came back. Hang on. Okay, C R N. C. R. N. Ah. C. There we go, health increased. Head back now. We get the last what would you say nothing. thing. Nothing? There is nothing left to say. What about everything we've done so far? That man coming to the house? Talking to the world serpent? We've done so many amazing things. I just want to tell her about them. Don't you? What else would you say to her? I tell her that we're both okay. Not to worry about us. Atreus, I... I miss her too. You know this. I thought I knew very little. Let's get this real quick. Mimir! You were in the middle of a story before. How would Freya agree to marry Odin? What was in it for her? 
It was a sacrifice to protect her. Selfless act of love. Okay, Only now she we got a door. She got. Oh my gosh. Of course, there's more to that story. Alright, I think I'm going to end the episode here, guys. And on the next episode, we will finish out this side quest. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.